Hello everyone, um, as always I'm here to talk about the wonderful world of pro wrestling and sports entertainment. Um, to paraphrase Zack Ryder, where is he? Um, you can subscribe to me on this channel or you can also follow me on Twitter at Rose underscore Butlin, I think it's down there. My last video was about women and their roles in wrestling, so today I thought I'd do a quick video on planning and positivity and it's going to be uh, five points in which I think we should either pay attention to or should be improved upon in 2015. So counted down from five, which I really want to do the Booker T thing when I do that. Um, so counting down from five, we have a suspension of belief and we've got to take that from pro wrestling and bring it into sports entertainment a little bit more I feel. Um, Dean Ambrose and Mick Foley did this brilliantly with their um, program which they were scheduled to fight but of course Mick Foley had a medical, didn't have the medical clearance for it. But um, they suspended disbelief by adopting and fully embracing social media. Social media has the power to create careers and it also has the power to create characters. Um, they can shoot interviews which look like they are wrestling shoots so that they are taken from a fan just unexpectedly encountering a snidey remark or something like that. Um, social media stop, needs to stop being a mirror of what's on TV and needs to start becoming a marketing tool. Number four, which actually, when was the last time you saw a really good Fatal 4-Way? Are they still a thing? Um, number four is the Divas. I know I mention them a lot. Um, it's because I'm a huge fan of not just the women's division but total divas also and they have the strap line of being sexy strong and powerful once you take away their match time and their promos they're left with sexy which gives terrific ammunition to the people who say they have nothing more to give 2014 we saw a raw headlined by um stephanie and brie and i really truly do hope 2015 we will see another Raw headlined or at least featuring a current WWE or NXT diva. Number three, I have a very cliche point but it's still a highly relevant. Um, that is to not insult the audience's intelligence. If you give me a choice of a no holds barred, a new disqualification and a street fight, I will get angry because I know they're basically the same. It shows how you have not fought through the segments and how you panic panic planning every single thing and stage managing everything it becomes so entrenched in bureaucracy that it doesn't have a flow it doesn't feel real two um the announcers the recent reshuffle has been lovely um i've never been a huge fan of jerry lawler um, I think add Christian into the mix and it'll be lovely. You can stop resetting the show every time another show and another network finishes, which I believe is the um, reason that repeats are done so prolifically nowadays. Um, so just add somebody in there, keep the flow going, and the three hours will zoom by, which is amazing for if you're British. You don't have to stay up crying a little bit in your soul until 4am. Number one, we have two words, Dolph Ziggler. I don't think I need to say anything more, but I am a total mock for him, love him, let's do something with him. So that completes my list of things to look out for or to look forward to, hopefully, in 2015. I hope it wasn't too ranty, it's quite hard when you start talking about improvements not to want to scream a little bit. Um... I know my hair was very annoying, that's why I could I could never be a diva because I can go from looking okay to in like two seconds. Um, I still have my trust in the McMahons, I believe there's a bright future ahead and I hope that this time next year I will be sitting here praising with better hair, um, praising the McMahons and praising all the future stars. So let's show our integrity by sticking with the project, um, not being snidey, but let's just put a little bit of trust in Vincent K. McMahon. Okay, thanks everyone. If you've got any comments, you know how to um, get to me, Twitter, 
or subscribe and leave a comment on here and hopefully I'll do some videos in the near future.